Today we have an AI smart recorder from iFly Tech. Honestly, before this, I've only heard of Sony voice recorders and some of these products are not setting with a very big price tag. But this one from iFly Tech costs $250. So in this review, let's see if it has the value to support such a price. First of all, the design is very aesthetically pleasing. The main color is a deep blue and gray with a golden touch on the mics at the top. The frame is made of a whole piece of plastic. There aren't any unnecessary cutouts, so this is much better than some smartphones right now. Then the side with all the buttons on is a metal one. It provides that natural feeling of holding a masterpiece hardware. Compared to a regular smartphone right now, it's significantly smaller and quite a compact size. Actually, it's just the size of an Asian Nokia phone. It won't add much weight to your hand, so holding it to do an interview for a long time will be an easy task. Now this device has a 2000 million battery, 2 gigs RAM, and 32 gigs ROM. It claims to be able to store 175 hours of recording, which is quite impressive. There's a Type-C port and a bottom for you to charge the device, and you have an A2C cable in the package. Anyway, there are 9 buttons in total, and then we will get into the details later. Let's go straight into the recording feature first. So we will talk about the main highlights here, which are real-time offline transcription, 10 meter recording, noise reduction, and lastly, secured data transfer. Based on my limited understanding, transcription is extremely important for news reporters, interviewers, or students. In those limited times, they need to capture so much information and process it as soon as possible. Human brains certainly cannot do that, so the device like this can help a lot. Compared to the phones and other recorders, this one still wins, mainly because of the form factor and the real-time offline transcription. Imagine on a serious occasion, there is no network and a normal recorder can't transcribe in real time, then this AI smart recorder is the best choice. Place it on the table or hold it in your hand, it will do the job for you. So after testing this device, I think the accuracy is 98%, really good performance. There are many modes to choose from. If you don't want to choose yourself, then it's fine to let the device do it for you, or you can pick the mode among the conference, speech, or interview. So in a conference call, normally people would take turns to speak, so I recreated that kind of a scene by putting phones in different directions, and I also tried to speak to the recorder in real time to see if it can capture all the sounds and transcribe them into texts. Here's the result. If you are our fan, you will notice that Xiaomi 13 has been shown in so many of our videos. Yes, I'm really in love with this phone. This TV4 Pro has this Leica logo on the packaging, so it's clear that this time the CV4 Pro supports Leica algorithms. Right now, I'm speaking directly to the mic, see if he can uh, uh, capture my sound. As you can see, all sounds have been captured, and I would say the transcription is 98% accurate. The two directional mics and the four omnidirectional mics are certainly doing an excellent job here. The best thing about it is that the people tend to speak at a very complicated pace, but the device still did a good job reforming every sentence. This can be a really good feature. It can save a ton of time for people to process that text afterward. Then it claims a maximum of 10 meters of recording, which can be used in recording speech. First, I thought there was no way it could do that, but I was wrong. The way I tested it is that I put a speaker about 10 meters away playing the sound of our video to recreate a speech-like situation. Then I walked towards the speaker, stopping in 6 meters and 3 meters. Now let's hear how it works. Well, it's really hard to convince people of the X100 Ultra's capability without rivals. That's why we spent a lot of money to get the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra back again. Well, it's really hard to convince people of the X100 Ultra's capability without rivals. That's why we spent a lot of money to get the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra back again. Well, it's really hard to convince people of the X100 Ultra's capability without rivals. That's why we spent a lot of money to get the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra back again. As you can probably hear, there's a slight difference in volume, but you can hear every word clearly. When it's in a 6 meters and 3 meters range, the transcription is really accurate, but it dropped a little bit when it's in the 10 meters range. To be honest, I wouldn't complain about it, as it is already a really good performance. Next up, I tested the noise reduction capability. Here are the recordings I got while testing an iPhone, the recorder in our studio, and this one we are testing. So right now, I'm standing right by the road. There are a lot of cars coming by, and I'm recording this voice from the iPhone directly. How is the uh, sound quality? How is the uh, noise canceling? Let me know. 
right now I'm standing right by the road. There are a lot of cars coming by and I'm recording this voice from the uh, recorder from our studio. How is the uh, sound quality? How is the uh, noise canceling? So I'm standing right by the road and uh, there are a lot of cars coming by. I'm recording this voice from the iFlyTech AR Smart Recorder. How is the uh, sound quality? How is the uh, noise canceling? As you may know, the iPhone has really good mics and the recorder is a good tool to record any type of sound. Still, the iFlyTech Smart Recorder has better noise reduction ability. After everything is done, you can play back and review the transcription right on the device, which is a very convenient feature. Also, this device protects your data in three ways. First, you can set up a password for it whenever you want to transfer the data to your computer, going through the password will be required. Secondly, it has that 32 gigs of memory inside, no SD card is needed, so nobody can just take your SD card and go. And since this device runs completely offline, no data will be processed online or being uploaded. Now you can be fully confident about your privacy and everything. Other than those fundamental features, there's something you still need to know. First, it supports five languages, Chinese, English, Japanese, Korean, and Russian. It pretty much covers the major languages people use in this world. In that sense, I also tested the limit of this device, which is trying to see if it can transcribe two languages simultaneously. And the answer is yes and no. Yes is because it can transcribe Chinese and English at the same time. No is because it doesn't support other pairs of languages. So I'm speculating that it's not the hardware, it's those language models training is still not quite complete. Hope it will be done soon. Another feature is the touch screen. Modern people certainly can't live without it, but the physical buttons are also kept here. This is actually a very thoughtful design as uh, older people will be able to use it also. All right, this is the review of the iFlyTech AR Smart Recorder. Although I will not be able to make full use of this device, but after testing it, I think a lot of you out there will appreciate it. And a little about this company, it is actually a pioneer in AI voice and speech recognition and conversation. There are many other products related to this one and a large amount of Chinese people are using them on a daily basis. So back to the question I brought up in this review, is it worth the price tag? I would say yes. Such a device can do one thing, but it's doing the best in this industry. So if you truly need one for yourself, I highly recommend to check it out in the link down below. Okay, I'm Wolfgang from China. See you next time.